well, it's a day ending in Y, and that must mean it's time for another study to grab the mainstream headlines proclaiming that something you love causes cancer. To find out what it is, uh, I've made this helpful wheel. Uh, we can spin it. We can see what we get here. All right, looks like it's artificial sweeteners today. Sorry, video games, better luck next week. If you're seeing a lot of news stories popping up about how your Diet Coke is killing you, the culprit is a new study out of France where researchers combed through 10 years of existing data to conclude that, and I quote, Artificial sweeteners, especially aspartame and acesulfame K, were associated with increased cancer risk. Okay, let's just dive right into the facts. Uh, first and foremost, this is a correlation, not a causation. They did not find that artificial sweeteners cause any kind of cancer, and no such mechanism is known to exist thus far. Uh, they just found that the people who tended to consume more artificial sweeteners also tended to get cancer slightly more often than people who didn't consume artificial sweeteners. They attempted to control for factors like age and sex, except for as it regards breast cancer and prostate cancer, smoking, family history, things like that. But if there is an effect, it could be that people who are more likely to get cancer are also more likely to try switching to a healthier drink like Diet Coke instead of regular Coke, something along those lines. We don't know. And speaking of the effect, it was very small an increase of 13% risk. To put that into perspective, the most common cancer that they found uh, was increasing was breast cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, a woman's baseline risk of getting breast cancer is also 13%. If you increase that by 13%, a woman who chugs diet sodas might expect her risk for breast cancer to increase from 13 to 14.7%. And I do mean like chug, uh, because the effect was seen for people drinking the equivalent of like a two liter bottle of soda per day. Which, by the way, this data was all self-reported. Self-reported diet data is notoriously inaccurate, as reported in many studies on the subject, like this uh, 2020 meta-analysis that found rampant under-reporting of calories, especially from subjects at higher BMIs. Uh, this French study did try to account for that, um, but considering that it says that the most common cancers they saw increase were those associated with higher BMIs, uh, the inaccuracy of the self-report data might be relevant. Another issue worth noting with this study is that if you look at the raw data, the researchers actually found that in some cases, the people who consumed more artificial sweeteners had a lower cancer risk than the people who just consumed some artificial sweeteners. And in the case of sucralose, which was the least popular sweetener that they looked at, uh, so the one with the least amount of data, which might account for this, the heaviest consumers actually had a decreased cancer risk compared to people who didn't drink any sucralose at all. If the artificial sweeteners are causing cancer, wouldn't we expect to see risk consistently increasing with use, especially for the sweeteners where the sample size is huge, like with aspartame? Finally, the point that I have to bring up every single time anyone claims artificial sweeteners are dangerous, these correlated increases in risk are rarely compared with the risks associated with the consumption of sugar. Excess consumption of sugar isn't just suspected to be bad for you. It's absolutely confirmed without a doubt very bad for you. Excess sugar increases your risk of many kinds of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, liver damage, you name it, pretty much sugar exacerbates it. A 15-year Harvard study found that people who consumed a lot of sugar had a 38% increased risk of dying of cardiovascular disease. Now, because I calculated the absolute versus relative risk for artificial sweeteners and breast cancer, here it is for sugar and dying of cardiovascular disease. As the leading cause of death in the United States, your risk of dying from heart disease here is 25%, meaning that excess sugar might cause that number to jump from 25% to 35%. 
And that's not just your risk of contracting heart disease, it's your risk of dying from it. And sure enough, uh, in these supplemental materials for this French study, I did find that they did look at what happened to the cancer risk for people who also consumed a lot of sugar as well as artificial sweeteners. And sure enough, people who reported eating more sugar than the nutritional guidelines saw their risk of cancer increase dramatically over those who reported eating below those guidelines. In fact, people who consumed no artificial sweeteners at all, but did consume more sugar than is healthy, had nearly the same increased cancer risk as those with the highest consumption of artificial sweeteners who had less sugar intake. So consider that the next time that you want a soda and you're choosing between the one with real sugar and the one with artificial sugar, would you pick the one that increased your actual risk of getting breast cancer by 1.7 percentage points or the one that increases your chances of dying from heart disease by 10 percentage points? That said, uh, while the risk of consuming too much sugar, uh, they're well documented over countless studies over the past several decades, um, where the question isn't if it's deadly, but exactly how deadly it is, none of that is even close to being true of the risks for artificial sweeteners. The FDA reports that aspartame is one of the most exhaustively studied substances in the human food supply, with more than 100 studies supporting its safety. The evidence required to overturn that conclusion would need to be huge. Um, and it can't be done. We can't overturn that preponderance of existing data based on one study looking at self-reported data that attempts to, but can't possibly control for many other mitigating factors, uh, which found a small correlation between artificial sweetener use and a very small increase in the risk of some cancers. So, you know, the moral of the story here is when you see this, and you will, it's going to be everywhere. Uh, don't panic. Remember to just consume things in moderation, and you'll basically live forever. That's, that's my promise to you. <laughs>